the Temple of Amun Ra, also known as the Temple of Karnak, is one of the most impressive and largest ancient Egyptian temples ever built. Located in the city of Luxor, it was dedicated to the god Amun, the king of the gods, and his consort, the goddess Mut. The temple complex is made up of several smaller temples and structures, including the Great Temple of Amun, the Temple of Khonsu, and the Temple of Ptah. The temple was built and expanded over a period of nearly 2,000 years, beginning in the Middle Kingdom and continuing through the New Kingdom. The Great Temple of Amun is the largest and most important structure within the complex. It features a large central courtyard, surrounded by a series of chapels and smaller temples dedicated to various gods and goddesses. The most impressive feature of the temple is the massive hypostyle hall, which contains 134 columns, many of which are over 30 feet tall. The Temple of Khonsu is the second largest temple within the complex and is dedicated to the god Khonsu, the son of Amun and Mut. It features a series of well-preserved statues and reliefs depicting the god in various forms. The tomb of Tutankhamun, also known as the Boy King, is one of the most significant and well-known ancient Egyptian tombs ever discovered. It was discovered in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter, in the Valley of the Kings, in Luxor. The tomb contained a wealth of treasures and artifacts, including the famous solid gold death mask of the king. Tutankhamun was only a teenager when he became pharaoh, and his reign was relatively short. Despite his youth and the brevity of his reign, he left behind a tomb filled with incredible treasures. The tomb contained not only the king's mummy but also a variety of funerary goods, including jewelry, statues, furniture, and chariots. The Nefertiti bust is a 3,300-year-old painted limestone bust of the great royal wife of the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten. The sculpture is believed to have been created in 1345 BC and it is one of the most iconic and recognized works of ancient Egyptian art. The sculpture was discovered in 1912 in the workshop of the sculptor Thutmose, in the ruined city of Amarna, by German archaeologist Ludwig Burchardt. The bust is currently housed in the Neues Museum in Berlin, Germany, and it is considered one of the museum's most valuable and important artifacts. The bust is a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian art, and it is considered one of the most beautiful and realistic depictions of a human face from ancient Egypt. The sculpture is 46 centimeters high, and it is made of limestone and paint. The bust depicts Nefertiti with her head slightly tilted to the right, with her eyes looking straight ahead. The Ramesseum is a mortuary temple of Pharaoh Ramses II located in the Theban necropolis in Upper Egypt. The temple was built during the New Kingdom period, around 1250 BC, and it was dedicated to the god Amun and the deified Ramses II. The temple's name means the Temple of Ramses, beloved of Amun. The Ramesseum was one of the largest and most impressive temples of ancient Egypt, and it was considered one of the country's most important religious and political centers. The temple complex consisted of several courtyards, halls, and chapels, and it was surrounded by a massive wall. The temple's most striking feature is the 20-meter-tall Colossus of Ramses II, which once stood at the temple's entrance. The Temple of Horus, also known as the Temple of Edfu, is a well-preserved ancient Egyptian temple located in the city of Edfu, in Upper Egypt. The temple is dedicated to the god Horus, the falcon-headed god of the sky and king of the gods. It is considered one of the best-preserved temples from ancient Egypt and it is one of the most complete examples of a Ptolemaic temple still standing. The temple was built during the Ptolemaic period, around 237-57 BC, on the site of an older temple that was built during the New Kingdom. The temple is unique among Egyptian temples, as it is built almost entirely out of sandstone, which is a less durable material than the usual granite and basalt. The temple is also unique in that it is the only temple dedicated to Horus that has been preserved to such a degree. The Temple of Karnak, also known as the Temple of Amun Ra, is one of the most impressive and largest ancient Egyptian temples ever built. Located in the city of Luxor, it was dedicated to the god Amun, the king of the gods, and his consort, the goddess Mut. The temple complex is made up of several smaller temples and structures, including the Great Temple of Amun, the Temple of Khonsu, and the Temple of Ptah. The temple was built and expanded over a period of nearly 2,000 years, beginning in the Middle Kingdom and continuing through the New Kingdom. The Abu Simbel temples are two massive rock temples located in Nubia, southern Egypt, near the border with Sudan. The temples were built during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses II in the 13th century BC as a lasting monument to himself and his queen Nefertari. The temples were relocated in the 1960s to avoid their flooding during the construction of the Aswan High Dam. The temples were originally built to impress and intimidate visitors, as well as to demonstrate the power and wealth of the pharaoh. The two temples, the Great Temple of Ramses II and the Small Temple of Nefertari, 
were constructed out of sandstone on the banks of the Nile River. The tomb of Nefertari, also known as QV66, is one of the most beautiful and well-preserved tombs in the Valley of the Queens, in Egypt. The tomb was built for Nefertari, the great royal wife of Pharaoh Ramses II, during the New Kingdom period, around 1250 BC. The tomb is considered one of the most beautiful examples of ancient Egyptian art and it is considered one of the most important tombs in the Valley of the Queens. Tomb KV-17 in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt is the tomb of Pharaoh Seti I of the 19th dynasty. Also known by other names, the tomb of Belzoni, the tomb of Apis and the tomb of Samis, son of Najoys. It is one of the best decorated tombs in the valley, but is now almost always closed to the public due to damage. The longest tomb in the valley is 137.19 meters, 450.10 feet, high, and only two of eleven chambers and ancillary chambers do not have well-preserved reliefs. Herbert Winlock directed the Metropolitan Museum of Art's Egyptian expedition in excavations from 1925 to 1927, which discovered the tomb of Senemet. The unfinished tomb is accessed by a steep descending staircase starting from the quarry. It is 90 meters long and provides access to three consecutive chambers under the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut. According to the celestial map, it is not known whether this was done to deliberately place his tomb within the confines of Hatshepsut's temple, or to obtain better quality sandstone. The carvings on the ceiling and walls are exceptionally well preserved due to the use of Tarawang chalk for the carvings. Ramses Vi is buried in a tomb now known as KV-9 in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb was originally built for Ramses V, who was probably buried in it for a short time, as another, possibly undecorated, tomb was to be dug for him elsewhere in the Golden Sands Valley, which has not yet been discovered. Hetefirs I was probably the wife of King Sneferu and the mother of King Khufu. It is possible that Hetfels was Sneferu's teenage wife, whose fame rose only after her son ascended the throne. She was the grandmother of two kings, Jade Frankofra, and Queen Hetfels II.